Hello my crafty friends, welcome back to my full deck challenge. This is card number 17. You may recognize this technique and this look and even this color scheme. I very recently uploaded an art journal page video using the same and I absolutely loved the way it turned out. So I thought I will do it again on one of my playing cards. So it's just on a smaller scale but has the same great effect. I start by adding my collage pieces. I really love this floral with the purples and the turquoise, so I'm using that again. And then I've got some complementary other pieces that I think match really well. It's a small card, so you don't need a lot of paper. Just little off cuts that you have from other projects that you finish are perfect. I glue all this down with Mod Podge and then I also put Mod Podge over the collage pieces. Now I'm adding some gesso. I'm just using my finger for this and I'm concentrating the gesso mainly on the joinings of the paper there where they overlap. I'm doing a soft covering of it over the rest of the paper but I don't want the whole thing at the same tone. So I want to darken certain areas where the paper overlaps and lighter in the other areas. Once it's dry I'm just going to trim the excess. Save all those bits we can use them in another project. I'm now going to do some stenciling with some white texture paste. The stencil is from Kmart here in Australia. You could cover the entire card but I'm not going to. I'm just doing about two thirds of it. I like when the card has got different areas that have got different techniques or designs. I don't like always everything to be flat and the same. That is why I've just put texture paste just in a certain part. The paint I'm going to use to color is just acrylic paint. This color is called burgundy and I just apply a little bit of the paint to the card, a little bit watered down and then I use a spray bottle to spray it and as you can see it waters it down more and then the color flows and it flows in between all the grooves of the stencil. I like the unevenness that the paint takes. It's a really darker area and then some lighter areas and I'm just going to work some darker areas too. I like it uneven and you sort of just let the paint do its thing. You don't control it too much. I love the effect it leaves on its own. I do dab the really big puddles because those might take a while to dry or just make it soggy but Leave it to flow, you can control some of it, but it's really nice when it just does its own thing. You can apply as many layers of paint as you want, depending how intense you want the color. I do like a good contrast in my colors, so I'm adding some more of the darker burgundy. I'm going to use the word contrast again. I'm going to add some more contrast by adding some more texture paste through a different shaped stencil. This stencil is from AliExpress. I'm going to leave the texture paste white here. I'm not going to add any color because I really do like the, what's the word? Oh yes, contrast. I do think I need to balance the color a bit and I need to bring a bit of the turquoise in. So I'm watering down some of the turquoise acrylic paint and I'm going to do some splattering over the entire card. Once the card is dry, I'm going to embellish a little bit. I just dig through my stash and find items that I think are suitable for the card. I have this little scalloped border which I think is pretty cute so I'm adding that with some hot glue and then I have a piece of dark blue cardstock that I'm adding as a tab. If you're enjoying my video please hit the little thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe. I'm also adding these little flowers. I've got a dark blue and a lilac, which match really well. Like I said, they're just part of my stash that I've had for a while, and I attach those also with the hot glue. A 
let me show you a close-up so you can see how beautiful the textures are with the texture paste and how the colors they become mottled and splotchy but I really really love that effect thank you so much for watching my video I do hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were inspired to create your own altered playing cards you can follow my techniques or you can do your very own. Just have fun creating. I'll see you again soon. Bye.